found a problem. It's almost like a bad time to be down here. Oh man. We have like a jet engine. Last year, we installed a micro hydro system at this off-grid homestead, but we committed a sin. It's actually a pretty common sin when you're installing a micro hydro system, and we are gonna show it to you and we're gonna fix it. And we're also gonna show you a couple other cool tricks. It's a really phenomenal system. We are gonna tear it apart, we're gonna put it back together and get it running. There's the intake down there. You can see the red handle or the handle of the intake valve. The intake is right up in there. And that pipe goes down the river. This is a high flow, low head. So it only drops about 30 feet from that intake to the turbine. But it's a, I think it's a five and a half inch inside diameter on the penstock. So there's a lot of flow, hundreds of gallons per minute is down there we are gonna tune that thing up when we installed it last year we kind of already felt shame like we knew it wasn't right i know what you're thinking you're thinking but jeff there's like 1890s in here 90 and a 90 90 and a 90. you're making the water do like a pac-man puzzle and it just slows down so we got to replace that with something better but they don't make them. Like, you kind of need to make a custom thing. Oh, man. Look at that thing. You did it. Yeah. It's not the prettiest thing. Oh, it's pretty. But I, I welded in there, too, just to yeah. try to make it. That is professional. Just think about the water, like, just, like, flowing out of there, laminar flow. <laughs> hey, like a fountain of power. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yep. Beautiful. Nicely done. Thanks. So we're going to tear apart this intake. And then we're gonna do a really cool thing. We're gonna cut that main pipe and show you the magical way that you can like weld the pipe together. And then we'll install that new magic manifold and I mean, we should crank some power. Yeah, it sure is. We're just checking that it works. And it still works, but boy, it was only making like 250 watts, so it's probably just not optimized. Come check this out. All right. So here's how we jammed it in last year. And look at all these sinful T's. The worst thing that we did was not even the T's in 90s. I'll show you. It's where we took a two inch and split it into two two inches. That's no good. Right here. So down there it's four inch and four inch comes up and then splits into a, a two inch, goes into a two inch and a two inch. And that is a real bottleneck. Anyways, we're gonna tear this thing down. taken apart but check this out what we need to do is make this pipe go right into the turbine 
So we didn't do it last time because it takes some equipment, but we can cut this pipe and just weld it back together wherever we want. So we're gonna cut it like back here somewhere, put the new magic header on, and then have our little flex pipe be nice and short and just like a nice little sweep into the turbine. So coming up next, we're gonna cut this thing and weld it back together. That cut really easy actually, eh? It's awesome. It's a good start. It's like butter when you cut it, but it's like super tough and rigid. Like look at it up the river. So this is a pretty crazy system, but I'll show you this jig is going to grind the pipe smooth on both sides and then it's going to melt it together. Now look at that pipe, it's like smooth. But it's got butter smooth. Woo! Isn't that wild? It's just like you this one over here, Kevin? makes it super smooth. Oh yeah. Is it nice and hot in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on. This is the magic heating wand. And it's gonna melt both sides of the pipe at the same time. And then we're gonna whip it out and crush the pipe together. Just like that. Good. I just wanted it to be a really good well. Yeah. So I'm gonna over, maybe overcook it. Yeah. Good? Yeah. It's not amazing, but it's good work. Okay. Uh, see how nice this yeah. lips are? This, that has good limbs all the way around. Up here at the top, it's a little bit light, but I still think it's muddy. It's done, just like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Perfect. This is the magic header. It's like a musical instrument. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, like a. It's like a pipe organ. Yeah. Look at here, man. That is a custom unit right there. Yes, it is. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> So yesterday was miserable. Yesterday was pretty incredible weather. And by incredible, I mean, what would you call it? Um, Less than ideal. Anyways. Unforgettable. Unforgettable, yes. It was unforgettable. So now we're going back down into that raging ice cold water again. And we did a few things last night in the dark that we couldn't video, but we are ready to connect our new magical header. And the water is just gonna flow. <laughs> it's just gonna be, what's it gonna be like? Um, like honey? It's gonna flow way better than honey. Oh, I thought honey flows just so smoothly. No. Okay. Um, it's gonna be laminar flow right until it hits the turbine and then boom an explosion of power like carbonated water carbonated <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about hydro is if it's a good hydro site it might be rainy a lot and it might be really steep yikes good morning Are you opening or closing? Opening. Okay. So are you? Way. Oh boy. Okay. So what? 
test this one first. What? Water in there. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. My password. Wait a second. And the jet nozzles. Oh boy. Oh, nothing. That's brilliant. Look how smooth that is. Yeah, it's awesome. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, look at this. Are you seeing that? Oh yeah. Jet engine! Hey. Oh man! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Pressure hammer, yeah, I kind of closed that a little bit fast. Oh man, we're in business! Let's cut some pipes! Alright! This is the last connection. We're gonna put on these flex lines. You gotta heat them up. There's no way you can get on like a two inch flex line at zero degrees onto a barb fitting unless you heat it up. We tried this with the blowtorch last year and it did nothing. Yeah, the, the torch you ever just- tried this, don't use a blowtorch. Yeah, it burns the edges and leaves the other side cold. Yeah. Yeah. Freezing cold. <laughs> this is the only way. Nicely done. There it is. We are ready to crank on the machine. You gonna do it, man? Sure. Some steady power, seven and a half amps. I'm not sure if it's optimized yet. I think in the long term, it would be best to put some sort of voltage converter. This thing wants to run at about 200 volts right now, but it's tied directly to the 50 volt batteries. So we might investigate that, but even if we didn't optimize it, this thing should spin here for years. Okay. See that nozzle size right there? Okay, that nozzle size is seven eighths. And it was three quarters. We just cut it down a tiny bit, but we think it's gonna make a big difference. So we keep trying to optimize this thing. We'll see how this one goes. Found a problem. You see the turbine in there? Tell me what you see. Right there, and right there, and right there, and right there. Almost every single bucket, man. It is full of rocks. 
The turbine has rocks in it. That's killing us. Dude, that's killing our turbine. It has to be a major problem. It's a major problem. Kezia. It's that is, not rotating fast. That's a major problem. Christina, why did you do that? Presuming that we can get these rocks out, this thing is going to be like a rock star when we turn it back on. Well, I think we got her. That's a lot cleaner. We're going to button this thing back up and see what kind of power we get. optimized we're gonna tweak the level of the rotor come down and look at this you see this gap right here that gap can be raised or lowered and that adjusts the voltage it's like a fine tune so that's what we're gonna do okay I think it's gonna go up so I'm gonna go one turn one quarter turn up yeah okay, tighten it up Okay, I think we got it. We're gonna crank it on. Yeah, 12.6, 12.7. So that's at around 60 volts down here, maybe even more. So this is probably, uh, if we can do some math to calculate our losses, but Either way, this amperage is going into the batteries right now at about, probably about 55 volts. So what's 55 times 12.7? I think that's a win. What do you think? Super excited. You like it? Very much. Yeah. I like it too. You can tell this is spinning a lot faster than it was. Yeah. You could almost see the energy system before. Yeah. Hey, if you love off-grid micro-hydro, you'll love these other videos.